Hey everyone. Hi. My name is Lisa. And I'm Elena. We are deciding to come at you with some information that we find will be important to taking regular yoga poses and just kind of redefining them and really finding out what works and what doesn't per the individual. So Elena here, ha you've maybe taken what, one of my classes? Yeah. That's it. One or two. Mm -hmm. Ever. And I don't know if you even know like how my classes differ compared to other yoga classes. Right. So what I'm going to do is kind of lisify regular yoga poses. Um, and just so people can see how it works on your body when I have certain cues and um, refinements to your poses. So I figured now this is totally Elena has no idea what I'm going to do. Um, what's your favorite yoga pose? Um, I like pigeon a lot. You do? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go into it. This now, we normally do it. Okay, and now when you're in this pose, do you feel anything? Mm hmm. Right so, here. what are you feeling? Okay, side of hip, butt mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, so this is the way I'm going to refine this. So, you just do whatever you want with my wording. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take your back leg and just try to draw it forward without actually changing anything. Okay, so right there, that changed her hip. It like made it more. Um, flat in the back here versus rolled to the other side. Okay, now take your front leg and pull it back towards your back leg and back towards your front. Yeah, so everything here is already nice and her pelvis is ready. Okay, so now as you press into that leg, see if you can lift up without using your arms. All the way up to upright. Really strong one, yes. Now see how this hip wants to roll open? She's doing everything she can to keep those legs activated because that is pigeon. Now lower back down. Yes, awesome. So again, take this back leg and just kind of pull it up towards your face, yep. Back leg pushes down. Now try to lift your upper body again the same way without using the hands. It's difficult. it's difficult, right? Because what we do is we utilize the floor being making this leg passive in the front. Okay, nice job. Now press up with your hands. Come all the way up. So there's a big back bend here, right? So this could all be in the lower back, but we're going to try and spread it out into that upper body. So push your hands down, squeeze your shoulder blades in towards one another. Yep, lift your chest a little bit higher, lift your head. Now squeeze your legs together, left side, right side. Yep. Now take the hands off the floor and hold all that in place. Yes. Okay. Bring the hands back down. All right. Now bend this back knee. Like this? Yep. And how's that feeling? Good. I can feel it here. More. Now in the front of the leg. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to do the same thing. Squeeze your legs together. Keep this squeeze in the back knee. So we're making this posture that was passive very active. So the muscles are really online. So now lift your chest again. Take the hands up off the floor, hold, hold, hold. Yep, bring the hands back down, bring this leg back down, rest forward for a moment, all the way down into your pigeon. So we go from passive to active. And I hope you could see her back leg bent back there. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Like I've never really done that before. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna add one more piece to this. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so same thing, activate the legs, push down into that front leg. So her front hip is externally rotating and it's abducted, it's away from the body. She's gonna push that down, make it a little bit more active, use the floor to her advantage, start to lift up the body. Use your hands for now if you want. <laughs> Come all the way up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift the chest. Okay. This looks so beautiful. So you're a little bit more into it than you were those first couple. And she's doing this cold. We didn't do any warm up. Now bend this back leg, press down more through this front leg, lift the hands up off the floor. Now take this hand and reach towards your foot. Yes. And then bring everything down. Yay, that looks so good. All right. That's it for our first pose. We hope you liked it. And <laughs> thank you, Elena, for your great... Uh, do you have anything to say about that pose? 
I could really feel it in like all different areas of my body than I had ever felt that pose before. Normally I just do that pose to feel it here and I was feeling it in this leg. Extended. And yeah. Yeah. And that I've never felt that before. It felt great. And the thing about yoga poses is that if you're doing it passively where you're just hanging out in it, there's, there's no inherent long-term benefit to it. It's, it's going to just be something that eventually your hip starts to feel tighter and tighter and you're going to want to be in it more and more and more. Whereas what we just did makes it so solid that you're building strength, you're using the floor as a prop and you're utilizing your body and spreading it out throughout everything. So it's making it a lot easier and a lot better. Yeah. Did that make sense to you? When it you did. In it? Yeah. Yes. So it's almost like you've got to feel it with the body. So anyway, that's where we wanted to go with today as our first pose. And we're going to come at you with so many more of these. All Thanks right. everyone. <laughs>